bright yellow in summertime, dead of course, but um, and all the weeds are just bright yellow as well, just everything's dead at the moment out in my backyard, so a little bit of green here and there along the side where the cement is, and, and there's probably moisture under the cement, but that's about it. Ah, yeah. oh, well, let's make a start, eh? Okay. Well, uh, Aaron's gone. Be right back. Gonna change out of work clothes. He's here. <laughs> I'm already He's back. I already did that. I knew it was you. I was, I was just saying. I was just commenting. Okay, so um, you've uh, what was it last time? So you managed to take care of um, Isan's phylactery last time. Yep. And put it in the hands of the druids. Yep. Uh huh. Um. And uh, at that point, you got called in by Remeth, who asked you to race out to, or not him himself, but he had a horse rider come in, and race out to uh, an area where um, there's a lot of uh, burning of farms and things like that going on. So... Um, I'll just read what you got last time so you get a picture of what's happening. So, a young Harkenwalder galloped up to you on horseback. Dargrima said he needs your help over by the Radden farmstead. He, uh, pants pointing across the battlefield. A couple of hundred yards away you can make out the rebel leader's banner now under, now under attack. Between you and Dargrima, a band of marauding soldiers is busy setting fire to farmhouses and killing off any wounded they come across. Some of the Iron Circle warriors aren't human. They're short, scaly creatures with black horns and lashing tails, surrounded in dark fumes. The messenger gallops off again, leaving matters in your hands. So, what you did from there is that you um, came in, you're coming in from the west by the map. You can see there's a, a compass rose there, top left. Um, coming in from the west and um, when you get there and you can actually see a good look at the area you don't actually spot any of the um, guys out in the open so they're hidden they must have seen you coming or they're just busy behind the house or something uh, hang on I just gotta do you have it's Craig's character sheet, Caleb? I don't have um, oh, it up to date. Um, I'll give you an up to date one if you like. Oh, I'll make it available on Skype. Just give me a second. Um, uh, roll 20 active campaigns, threat to me, anti available PCs. Wrath level 4, is it? Yeah. Scrag. Scrag. Sorry, Scrag. Level I have Wrath level 4. Yeah, Scrag level 4, small. I've got that here. God, I catch it. And off. what's the name of the farmstead we're at again? The Red Inn? Um, I don't know. Did I give you a name? You said something. There's something farmstead. Oh, um... Oh, the Radden farmstead. Okay. Yeah. Oh. R A double D E N. Okay, thank you. No worries. Let me know when it's when you got it all, Caleb. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, you have. Okay, I'll just cancel. Because I'm right next to you, basically. And I better give you access to his. So, Scrag. Uh, that's weird. Edit. Controlled by Krivhan. Save changes. There you go. You should be able to use it now. Right. Okay, so uh, at this point uh, you've come in, you've got no visual on any of the, um, the marauders there. Um, but you can see that you've got big trees in the way. There's that big house there. It's smoking, and there's another house down the far, or a building down the far left. 
um, that you can see. I can't actually show you because of the way it's working, but down the very bottom left of the map, there's a building down there that's on fire. Um, the setup here is similar to what you've seen before um, for the farmstead. Um, you can see on the right there, there's a whole bunch of plants. Uh, top left, oh, sorry, top right there, and you've got a big tree that's on, that's to the immediate right on the map. That is, uh, which will be on your left as you're coming to the east, down to the east. And yeah, so now's your time to figure out what you want to do. <laughs> Be so, prepared. That's what I want to do. So repair. Okay. So do we notice that there's something on the road? Uh, on the road. No, you can't. the The road itself, you can't actually see in your current position. What you can see is what you get. Okay. Apart from the very bottom of the left of the map, you can actually see that there is a um, a house down there, but I can't actually show it to you by the way, because what I've got is when you can see down here, can you see where my ring is, the yeah. circle? Yeah. When you see there, you can't actually see below that. There's a drop, so you you assume that the road is below that level. Okay. And uh, yeah. So on the other side of the road, however, you can see the building, and that's probably that's a, a hindrance for the way the lighting works. But yeah, imagine that three D dynamic lighting. <laughs> uh. You've got left, right, and vertical like for contours. Imagine putting contours on the on the map. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, so you'd like there might be like a black line in the you, um, you could map. Put, well, you'd have another layer just of contours, and everyone would have their feet on whatever level the ground is, and their eyes would be like 1.8 meters above that, and it all works out what you can see over the hill and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Anyway, back. Let's go. So, what are you doing? Um. So at this point, we're just. Are we supposed to be at full? I missed that. What was that? Are we supposed to be at full? At full. Did we no. rest before? No, no. you a you no. actually went to the bar. You went to relax and have a short break, but you <laughs> got interrupted and you went out straight away. You probably have had a short break. That's about it. But you haven't had an extended rest, so your health is as it is. Okay. Just just check. And from where we are, is there anything that that will alert us that will make us you know be cautious here, or is it we're just kind of passing through here? Uh, no, this is where you saw the guys, the farms here, all well, there's smoke coming from the main house and there's fire from the building down the far bottom left. Okay. Um, so you know they're here somewhere. <laughs> all right. Is, is far bottom left being like down here somewhere? Yeah. Um, let me see if I can... Well, it's, it's fine. It's further just... than that, but can you see mine? Okay. Go yeah. down into the... Okay, it's down here. That's where the house is. You can just see that side of the house. Well, who can see that? Uh, Scrag is the only one who can see that. Uh, Anyone? I've got double vision. Nobody else could. But oh, Craig, I can, technically. Pretty far down. Yeah. Uh oh. But definitely at the um, at this level here, the ground drops sharply down. So if there's anyone down below the level of the ground, you wouldn't be able to see them. And that's at that. Um. All right. So, I would like to one, two, three, four, five. Move maybe here and oh wow. Okay. Okay. As soon as you do that, you spot someone's trying to hide him behind that first tree. Yeah, I see this guy. You failed yeah, your hide check. <laughs> we'll go into uh, turn order, so let me just get all you guys on. Thanks. And let's add him in. Oh so. no, where were all my good rolls? Oh no, where are they? They're in another castle. Ah. Uh. <laughs> They're in another castle. Indeed. There we go. 
That wasn't too bad. Come on, did you roll? big money. Oh, you, did you automatically put it wow. in? Wow, ridiculous, William? man. I'm so, no, <laughs> it, it should have automatically put it in. I was selected. That's weird. Doesn't look it like didn't. it has. It didn't. I don't think you were added to the token list. Oh, well then I'm going with that one because that one's too better. Al was on the list. Now I am. I, well, I, I rolled before I, I was. He was. Yeah. I think the, um, the macro should actually add you automatically to the list if you weren't. It doesn't, no. That's how, that's how it's written. Oh, hang on, you guys have got yours, your own. Mine's written so it actually adds you to the list if, it's not, if you're not already there. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that's really good because, you know, you can just do their, in, their initiatives and then next thing you know, they're already up. Yeah. So. Okay. Squeaky. Oh man, that's squeaking really bad today, isn't it? <laughs> Nails on a chalkboard, I tell you. <laughs> Are those the demons calling? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Uh, actually, um, Howell, you can just see that house now. You can see there's a window in the house. And you can see that whole left-hand side, but you can actually see the window now. I can see it. It's right there. It is. It is. Um, let's give him his tent. So this guy is six. Like that. Hell, this guy's slow as. <laughs> probably not slower than me. <laughs> <Told you. laughs> I only go four times faster than him. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay, well, I, I have no idea where anybody is. So. Well, I would assume that Hal was called out and said, Hey, there's someone there. Right yeah. behind the tree. <laughs> oh, I see you! Okay. Out behind the tree! Are they over here? Oh, actually, yeah, you can't see him, can you? I'm looking at, When I look at the map, I can see what everyone sees. So it looks like everyone can see him, but only Hal or... Yeah, I can, I can see to here. Yeah, so <laughs> you know he's hiding behind the tree. It's pretty much it. Okay. Oh. Nope, that didn't work. Uh. Where the hell is this guy? You're right Aha. there, lad. <laughs> Can't you use your tree magic to see him? One, two, two, three, four, five. Oops. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Oof. Six. <laughs> we'll shoot this guy. I won't shoot this guy. <laughs> Okay, go for it. Well, he's he's an iron circle dude, right? Well, he looks like he is, so you can only assume he's either that or he's one of the, um, well, he's definitely got the colours and the grey cloak, grey, what do you call it? Um, cloak circle. iron with the circle. Yeah, it appears like he's definitely an iron, iron circle dude. Okay. He could always be someone trying to hide in the trees, pretending he is iron circle so no one kills him. Why don't you go up and ask him? <laughs> well, I'll I'll ask him with this arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> there we go. Knock him prone. See if he 20, 21 to hit. Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm not. You missed. I'm not seeing. So okay, so you roll twenty one. Twenty one is a hit. His AC is um yep a hit. <laughs> I don't want to tell you his AC just yet. Okay. Uh, um. If he's not adjacent, oh my god, why is my damage always poop? <laughs> okay. So he takes eight if eight there's no one on the other side of the. Yeah. Don't you need to remove that and plus he... one if target is not adjacent thing? No. So... Oh, I thought that was part of that bow you had. No. Oh, that's, right. that's, a, that's, that's, that's a feat. Oh, okay. I, Never mind. I have. But yeah. um, he falls prone. Yeah. Shlop. If he doesn't die. No worries, I just have to reload because... Um, he I, falls prone when he dies. When I'm clicking on things, I'm not getting their... Oh, still not getting it. What do you call it? Their um, icons at the top. Hey, options. Yeah, to be able to change it. Okay, so... Uh, minus eight. Hey. Right here, and he's praying, you reckon? Ouch. 
Okay, so he is the prone symbols there. You might not be able to see it at all. Okay. And that's I, weird. I, 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 